Broadway is back. Hello, how you been? After 18 long months in the dark, the lights are bright again. Bruce Springsteen led the way in June. Two musicals and a play followed. And tonight, five more shows welcome audiences back. The performers are ready. There's so much excitement in the air. This is what we were born to do. And so are the fans. The minute that the curtain raised, I just started crying. I'll always support theater. It is magical. It feels so good. As the curtain rises on Broadway's biggest revival yet. Defying Gravity, Adina Menzel, Wicked, one of the shows starting tonight. I'm Vena Tyler. Good evening. We are live on West 46th Street. This is the heart of the theater district right behind me. Hamilton will open at 8 o'clock at the Richard Rogers. One of the coolest things has already happened. A tradition there on the steps. They do this thing called Ham for Ham, and people sing. Lynn manuel Miranda was there, the creator, Tony winner, all kinds of prizes. He was there leading the crowd in New York, New York. You can feel the renewed energy, the renewed hope tonight, because think about it, we've all been through this, but this industry, 18 months ago, the coronavirus shut down Broadway's 41 theaters. It was a devastating hit to the economy and to the thousands of people who give their all working here. Tonight, five Broadway shows open, joining the three others that are currently already on stage. So, The Lion King on 45th Street, Hamilton on 46th, as I said, 47th Street, the new play, Lackawanna Blues. The long-running musical Chicago is on 49th Street. Let me say uh, at that Wicked, then, is on 51st Street. We are covering this long-awaited reopening of Broadway. There's, there's a lot going on here, and we have a team of reporters for you. We're going to start with what this means for the performers. CBS 2's Ali Bauman joins us live from the Minstock Theater, home of of the Lion King. Hi, Ali. Hi, Dana. The Lion King is such an iconic marquee here on Broadway, and in about an hour, these doors will finally reopen to audiences. The cast and crew have been hard at work these last few weeks, dusting off their dance shoes, as have all the Broadway productions. I caught up with the actors in some of these big shows about talking about returning to rehearsals and Broadway's resurgence. The cast of Broadway's The Lion King is finally back together, 18 months after the pandemic shut down live theater. They're trying to achieve this ahead of reopening. Disney's Aladdin is one of seven shows rehearsing in the new 42 studios in Times Square before the musical hits the stage on September 28th. Walking to the rehearsal studios was like part of my soul coming back. Michael James Scott is returning in his role as the effervescent genie. I was surprised at how much I did not retain. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we start the moment and I was like, oh gosh, what do I do? You're walking off the street and there's just a sense that there's energy in the building. Russell Granite is president and CEO of New 42. Because of the COVID protocols, we have multiple studios on a floor, but if a show comes in, they have the entire floor. The musical Six is also in rehearsals ahead of Friday's return. It's an hour and 20 minute pop rock concert telling you the real story of the six wives of Henry. Six. From six women to five guys, get ready for return of Ain't Too Proud, the Temptations musical. What can make me feel this way? The last year and a half was challenging for newcomer Matt Manuel. It was an odd time because I also didn't work long enough with the show to be on unemployment. I had to figure out a lot of my life. Fortunately, I got to stay in New York. In these final days of rehearsal, after a long year and a half, Michael James Scott is awaiting those first chords of Aladdin's overture.
Well, if you simply cannot wait to see The Lion King in person, you are in luck. The production will be live streaming its opening number, Circle of Life, on TikTok at 7 p.m. We're live outside the Minskoff Theater on Broadway. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Ali, thank you so much.